Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by CatSoft Computer. Today we're going to learn about masking vias. First thing we want to do is take a look at our displays menu. By clicking on the display you can see all the layers that are currently on view. We want to only show sufficient layers to the task at hand. At which case, if you look at the bottom of the display, there is a none option. Now, by selecting this None option, all the layers will be deselected. Please press the B-stop, T-stop, the vias and pad layers. Once you have selected the proper layers, let us go back to the board layout editor. Once the proper layers are on display, choose the area to which the vias will remain covered. Please take note that what you are viewing is a negative representation. The black is what will be covered by the solder mask, while everything that is covered with the white graining is actually what will be exposed. Let's go ahead and gather some information about this via. We're going to right click on the via and scroll down to properties. Once the information pertaining to this via will appear, we will need to remember what the drill size of the via is. In this case, it is 24. Let's go ahead and click on the DRC, which is in the bottom left corner. Once the DRC displays, there will be several tabs for you to choose from. We are going to want to focus on the Masks tab. On the Masks tab, you will see there is a Limit option. The Limit option is for anything that is placed under that limit will be covered by the solder mask. So you want to place that limit at a higher level than what the via is. In this case, vias are 24, so we'll go ahead and place this limit at 25. Therefore, anything 24 and under will be covered or remained covered by the solder mask. Let's click Apply, and let's go back to the board. As you can see, all the vias that are 24 and below are now covered by the solder mask, while all those that are above 24 with the white grain are now being exposed. You can individually change the settings on each via that is covered by right-clicking and going down to the Properties tab. Once the Property tab appears, you will see there is a Stop box. Once you click on that Stop box and it is checked, you will stop the solder mask from covering that via individually. Even though it still remains under the limits of the DRC, you can override it individually on the Properties tab. And this concludes our video tutorial on masking vias. Thank you for watching.